that's with every fan inside outside I've installed new fans outside everything and nothing has fixed the heat problem it is actually cooler outside now so this is getting pretty ridiculous hey why don't you tell us what you're doing right now honey cleaning out our fridge why what did you do I didn't do anything did you spill something no not at all <laughs> <laughs> we just we bought our lovely RV it came with a piece of crap Dometic that doesn't work in the heat which this makes no sense because I guess people think you don't RV in warm weather. <laughs> tell, us the way, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> I can't. It's a family show. <laughs> hey, hey. What's wrong? Are you ready for a new fridge? Maybe. It's all stainless steel and pretty, Lily. Really. Gonna get rid of some of this brown. Bye bye fridge. As you saw, we are getting rid of the fridge. It is coming out. We're gonna go office space on this fridge. We don't even care if it lasts. We don't care if we break it. We are tired of this. We are fed up and we've tried every option on the internet. We're removing this thing and we're putting in a residential fridge. Now I will put a link down below to what fridge we got, basically because it was available and it's only like an inch narrower than what we have, but it's like 60 pounds lighter. So it's gonna save us on 60 pounds, especially in the slide, but we're just gonna have less issues. So we're gonna show you how we take this out, how we fix the back, how we install it, how we strap it down so it doesn't move when we travel and all the good stuff we're gonna do our best if we do get sidetracked because we're just beeline and we're just doing it please forgive me leave your comments down below but let's get started i have my screwdriver and we are gonna dismantle this thing let's go so first things first this trim and we unplugged it but it's still on apparently we unplugged it from the back but the light's still on it won't work but it's still working <laughs> the thing won't work properly but it's still working exactly we're, we're trying to kill it but it won't die so we pulled this trim off it was only held in by two screws and then there was two monster screws that were in there that are screwing it up into here um for ease of everything else i'm just unscrewing the doors personally we don't care we're not doing anything with this when we ordered our fridge from lowe's we paid for the 30 dollar removal fee so we hate this fridge so much we don't even care if we break it so much that i don't even care like that's just that's just how we feel right now this is just one of the one of the very few and i mean very few things we have issues with and it's not a grand design thing it's not a dometic thing I guess it's a fr RV fridge. It's thing. probably a Dometic thing. So you're going to see Renee on camera more than ever with this project. But basically, because it's in the slide, the slide top um, gets so much heat down inside, it just can't circulate the air. That's why we put the fans on the other side to suck all the air out. But it's just here in Florida when it's 90 plus degrees every day and it gets down to 80 at night, it's just not there to recycle it, the air. Just, uh, I'm gonna undo every screw just to make it easier for us to pull out of the doorway. So, so hold on. What? In all fairness, we've been battling with this, well, off and on for years, but this year, for about a week and a half to two weeks, we've been trying to do the fans, we've been trying to keep it yeah. cold. So it's not like we, you know, we're just frustrated with this because after two weeks of having no fridge, we've been using this little cooler bag. Our Orca. Pod stir cooler. Yeah. We've been eating out more because I can't really cook a big meal because I can't store ingredients yeah. to make dinner. So I'm tired of eating out. I'm tired of trying to live out of this and buying ice every couple of days. So this <laughs> is the frustration after about two weeks. Can y'all tell Renee's a little frustrated? All of a sudden, the real Renee comes kicking out on video. <laughs> whatever. What do you mean, whatever? Look at you. You're like, give me the camera. I just want a working fridge. Yes, and we will have that. 
Tomorrow. Well, today is Monday. It gets delivered tomorrow. Oh, it does get delivered tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought it was Wednesday. No, it's supposed to be here tomorrow. Okay. That's what they said. So just to let you know the timeline, you guys are seeing this two weeks after we do this. Today is Monday the 14th. So um, you're going to see this in two weeks, maybe three. maybe three, depending on what I have uploaded. All right, so we've been trying to get these doors off. And of course, this is an 11 millimeter bolt there, and it's not like you can just undo it and lift it. You have to unscrew this, and inside here is like a spreader, and it goes in this little plastic piece. So basically, you unscrew this and it pulls, it backs out this screw here, and it'll start to go. But then I just started to pry and then it kind of just came out of this little hole area and you're gonna have to do that and it does it again on this one here this attachment this screw but I haven't worked on this one yet all right so as you can see it's just a little plastic piece it goes in the top and I just kind of forced it and then I just broke this part because I wasn't even going to try to figure this out so Unfortunately, if you want to save your fridge and do that, we're not the people to do that one. We're here to destroy it and get it out of here. So I'm going to take these uh, doors off so we can get it out of here. Uh -huh. A couple little lines there. This is the one that's running up in the wall there. So now everything should, I got one more wire here. These wires right here need to be right, I'm gonna, done. I'm gonna peek in here and see what I got. Looks like they're hardwired in there. They're hardwired in there. Okay. The only concern I have is, are they hot? <laughs> I mean, I could turn off the power to the whole RV. Is this gonna slot yeah, in? Yep, flip that out. And flip it over. All right, guys, so there's a little power block back there that's got an orange and white, a white, and a black and red, and basically that's hard lined in to the fridge. Even though we unplugged it, there's still uh, hard line power. All right, so we got a little bit of wind. I'm going to try to get this. So we had a T joint in here that went into here, so we undid all of that these two wires that go into the hard wire here the hard power we're in this block undo those because the weir is weird we unplugged here but yet we still had the lights on in the uh, fridge so everything is done there was a couple screws there was a screw like down in here there was a screw holding on one of the uh, one of these and that's it as you can see we've already scooted it out and um, we're gonna be on our way here Anybody want some doors to a Dometic fridge? So we're gonna keep these panels. And if you know the, um, the biggest conflict Renee and I have is painting the interior. So I told her she's gonna test the um, paint on these, uh, these panels here. I might be given into some paint. So now we're gonna just pull it out. We got this big piece of cardboard from Lowe's. We're gonna set it on the floor because we don't want to rip the linoleum and we're going to do our best to slide it out. And we're going to set it straight down on the floor. You ready? How are we? Oh, let me get underneath where you're at. I got you. Sit down. Yep. Uh, yep. Are we, are we going to pivot? You want to rotate that around? Yep. yep. I want to come a little farther away from your cabinet. Oh, I see what you do. Okay. There we go. And that's why we brought the cardboard in. <laughs> we can almost just slide it on the cardboard, DJ. What do you think? All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we got the wall. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, I'm going to open the door because that's going to be. I think I'm going to have to go past. Okay. Hug the door. Yeah, there you go. Now, okay. when you get past where you can go out, then 
I can I can personally get out, but the biggest thing is watch the fins I'm right here. Yeah. Yep. And what do you if you can get out, what I want you to do is pull on that lower corner and try to help me rotate that. So as you push this way, I'm gonna go out that yeah. way. Okay. Now I'm gonna focus on the wall here. Yep. Okay. I have a very little handheld. Oh, you need, if you can get just enough. Yep. You can just slowly turn the corner whenever you're ready. Turn it. Yep. Now I'm free. Okay. Oops. Nope, you're good. Keep coming. Can you push straight out the door? Okay, so since we have this perfect shot here, I wanted to show you the back of the fridge and what modifications are upgraded and what causes the heat. So if you look here on the left hand side here, this is the heat portion. And this metal tube is where all the heat comes up. This pipe that kind of S turns up to go to the fins. That's why these fans are all here because they blow the air from the bottom to the top to cool the fans and then the air is supposed to come out of the top vent on the back of your RV but what happens is all this piping on the left that creates all the heat there's no way to put a fan there to direct that heat out so that's where all the heat comes up and if you look closely there's the red power cables going to a little um, thermostat and we had moved that because that was normally up on the fins so it would only tell temperature when the fins get hot so when our first one died we replaced it with this one and we mounted it right onto the heat pipe so the fans would kick on earlier before it got too hot so with everything going on now these upgraded fans you can see three are thick and the, the middle one here is uh, thinner that thinner one is the stock one we had two die and I replaced it with these full, with these thicker ones which moved a lot more air. Still didn't solve the problem just because the ambient temperature outside was in the mid 90s and then with all these heat pipes here um, creating extra excess heat it just was just a heat overload and not enough circulation of air to cool everything down and hence that's why the refrigerator never goes below 55. Yep. Right. Give me one second. Yeah, so we have to even take the trim off. All right, I got it. Okay, now what we're going to do is let that slide right down the step. Okay. Woohoo! So these are the new fans guys, these are the big, look how big these are, this is the old stock van, this is the new fan, and that's what I put in to move the air. That's coming out, and that is a button, no not a button, a cap thermometer, basically it monitors the temperature and it triggers the power to turn on the fans. That's it. Let's see what the back looks like, whoa, pink panther. So I just need to get a um, just this side get a connector to connect the two. Yeah. You're going to connect these two together. Should I just get an internal coupling instead of yes. the three way? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Instead of a T, get a couple. Just get a couple. Okay. Cool. Uh, nothing. No, there's nothing. It's hollow underneath. Is it just the goop holding it? Yeah. yeah. Where's the razor at? I'll cut. I'm concerned about that gas line. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, we got it out. Now, ultimately, the hardest part was finding all the attachment points where this thing was screwed and secured into. 
Other than that, getting it out was actually pretty simple as you saw. You definitely want two people because it is heavy and the angles you have to get. So as you saw, we came in, turned it, okay. brought it back over here. We were gonna use the dolly, but there was no need to because we put it on here, got to slide it. And when we got it to here, we actually got our floor mat. DJ set the corner on the floor mat and just used that to slide all the way down. So instead of wiggling around this, we had a slider. Now the only damage we did was right here on our wallpaper. It actually hit it and came back and I just laid it down. So if that's our only damage that we did, oh, I am so happy with that. Well, the new fridge isn't in. The new, yeah. <laughs> Good call, honey. Oh, we got it. Oh, these are just dirt smudges, but that's it. But guys, that was a lot easier. Now, stay tuned because tomorrow we get the new fridge in and we got to mount, we got, once we get it in, we got to mount it and secure it, make sure it doesn't wiggle around and walk on us when we drive. Also too, you can see all the foam that was in here, all the insulation, we're going to take that out. There's actually a piece of metal that insulated the heat coming from the top. And then when the fans hit up, they went out. As you can see, there's another fan here. And I had this set on exhaust that was shooting air uh, down and out because right here where the fridge was, was the heat pipe. And this is where the most of the issues were. And then, you know, this is just screwed in. This is screwed in too tight. So it has this gap. So I'm gonna unscrew that a little bit just to close that gap up. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this off, but we're gonna get foam board and put foam board all over this whole thing. We're gonna cut an area down here of foam board so that way, if anything happens in the back, I can still remove this panel, remove the foam board and have access to it, to the plug or whatnot. So that's it. I'm gonna go get a, um, a coupler to hook up these two pipes. So this is the from the supply from the front of the RV and this goes to the oven. So I just gotta get a coupler so the oven will work. So stay tuned, we're going to Lowe's. We decided to break this up into two videos. Obviously I wanted to get, or remember to get as much detail as possible because there's been so many questions on the forums. How did you do this? How did you do this? Send pictures of how to remove the fridge. So this is just the removal video guys about where the screw points are, disconnection points, things like that. The installation of this fridge. I think we recorded it, but it was pretty easy just to push it in. So, but we just didn't want to have a really long video where this one's already 20 minutes, 17 minutes long. So we just kind of wanted to keep it better for you guys. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. And also if you know someone who is on a forum and they're asking how to remove the fridge, please, please share this video on the Facebook forum so they can see it. We're here to help people alleviate refrigerator issues. So thanks for watching guys. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Spoiler alert, it's in.